Hi everyone and the products we'll be using for the Crafty Cafe card creation we're making some um, bags today is Lawn Fawn products, the Watercolour Wishes paper, the Hatchlings, Happy Hatchlings dies, the Fancy Scallop Circle dies, the Put a Bow on It dies as well and I've got some craft paper bags here that I got from my Dollar Tree store. Um, I love these bags because they already had a opening like a handle on the top of them already. So this Lawn Fawn Watercolour Wishes birthday candles um, paper comes in a variety of colours. I love the tones that they have um, and I'm going to be using like more a a purple medium purple plummy kind of color as well as like a blue violet as well as a um, aqua kind of color so I've got the lawn fawn pa um, cardboard stack here the rainbow and I was able to pull the yellow the black and the orange for my little happy hatchling chicky D <laughs> that we're going to be die cutting out um, and I'm just placing this in my big shot here and I'm just going to die cut these out to start forming the hatchlings. Um, so you cut um, a solid black because you're going to see that through the, uh, the actual yellow and it looks like it's eyes or eyelashes almost. So you can see that. Now in my blog I show um, what Lawn Fawn have used and how to use these dies in a variety of ways. So if you wanted to hop over there as well. Now I've also the orange cardstock cut the beak as well as the feet out and you can kind of see how cute this is going to turn out already. Now I wanted to add some little bit of cheeks and colour to the cheeks so I've just picked up with some ink um, using the Lawn Fawn Ballet Slippers and the Fantastics tool. I'm just going to pick up some ink. It's kind of like, it's called a bullet tip and it's very spongy and it just picks up ink that way. So it's really good for blending um, and I'm just picking up colour and adding some rosy cheeks to these little cheese. Once I've um, added some colour to the cheeks, I'll get my white Uniball fine tip pen and I'm just going to add like three little like freckles kind of looking things onto their cheeks and it looks really adorable um, but I just want to make sure I put enough colour on these cheeks because it does tend to blend out a little bit into the cardstock so therefore um, I make sure there's plenty of colour to add and then when you add the white freckles on the top as well um, it hides that a little bit. So I kind of just use I don't adhere the little beaks down but I kind of just put them into place where I think they're going to be um, so then I can kind of estimate where the cheeks are going to be. So here is my white pen and just adding like three circles on each cheek just to add like a fun little element to the cheeks. Something silly, like something small in detail, but can be, um, can make a really cute effect on the, on the overall creation. So now that I'm happy with that, I am going to adhere everything down. First, I'm going to put the beaks down on each cheeky, and then I'm going to adhere the body onto the black card stock. So the card stock, which is like an egg which you can use separately and cut out different colors as well. So there's so many fun elements to these die sets. Um, I'm just going to use that and place that behind. And I'm using a liquid adhesive here. This is a multi matte medium, but you can use any liquid adhesive of your choice. I haven't got the new Lawn Fawn one yet. I'd love to hear what you think about that. I know Crafty Cafe also stocked them. So let me know it's something on my wish list. <laughs> All right, so once I've gotten that I all together, I'll do all three and make sure they're all lined up so you don't see the black behind. Now then I mount my little feet on each one and I'm just going to put that behind that black cardstock. You can sandwich it in between if you want. I'm, I was happy just to put it right at the back there behind it all. And these are just adorable. I could keep making these forever. They were so cute. So, so cute. So I'm going to place them on the scallops here. The, whereas I um, I was going to um, adhere them straight down. But I put some foam mount, which is the Couture Creations 
um, circles that I use to adhere them down and you can see me here I'm just placing them on the bag just to see whether or not where I was going to place them exactly and then I was also trying to figure out where I'm going to put the paper bows as well once I've made them and die cut them out they're just coming together so quick so easy this is like the most gorgeous little bag sets I've made in a long time and because um, I've got three kids I've made three that's why <laughs> so yeah now I'm just here I am doing the foam mount on them and I just need two I didn't need many and I'm sticking once I've stuck that down the scallop itself I'm going to adhere down with um, liquid adhesive directly on the bag comes together so quickly now I'm going to do the paper bows so I've just going to pencil any pencil once I've die cut that out with the lawn fawn I put a bow on it I just loosen the fibers off of the cardstock here and the paper pack just by um, using the pencil breaking down the fibers and the bow um, comes already with the center part so you just wrap that around and then the actual bow tails um, I just put a little bit of adhesive in the middle and press that down then I also do the same on the bag just put a little bit of adhesive on the bag and then just press that down and it's just so quick so again breaking down the fibers of the bow and then adhering that down so so cute this is so adorable my daughter sky came in on me filming this and she's like oh my god mom that's adorable and it makes me want to make a whole heap more for other kids and the kids friends and i suppose i could make some more for the cousins it depends if we're going to see the cousins this easter or not but aren't they just adorable i hope you enjoyed today's bag creation um, it's so simple and sweet and easy to make and i've got some photos here of them all stuffed with the papers um, of the colored grass so i hope you enjoy today's creation thanks for watching see you later